Hi folks, uh, this is Ralph with a lot of things. Uh, we're doing a segment on a walking foot. There's two different models uh, that we have at this point. Uh, there are probably about a, at least a dozen on the market. Uh, but the, there, these two models are the more standard. And what you do is you remove the pressure foot and then the pressure foot holder, which is the snap-on portion. And you just remove the unit here. This has to unloosen the screw enough to where you can get to the the walking foot attachment. I'll just snap this back on. Or you can use the lever to snap it back on. Okay, now this here is the uh, model 1000 or 10449 walking foot. This particular one has a metal uh, feed dogs on the bottom. Some of them have uh, Teflon. So what we have to do is we have to take, and you'll notice I'll move this apparatus, which is the arm, and that goes on top of the needle clamp. So you have to get it into position, and the best way to do it is when you start it from the back side, you bring it forward, forward, and then with your index finger and thumb, and you slide it underneath, like so, hold that up above the top portion of your needle clamp, and then you raise this up. There we go, let's see. There we go. Now, and then we tighten this screw up. That's That holds in the other pressure feed and the snap-on mechanism and make sure you have it in, on there firmly. Don't be wimpy and try to do it. Some people they have a little screwdriver like this one and you can't tighten it properly. Okay so now we've got it all threaded. We're going to show you uh, using the straight stitch and zigzag and that's primarily when you're using upholstery thread. Okay. Um, but the other stitches is not really uh, meant to be used uh, for uh, this also. Uh, if you're using regular thread, then you can use the, the walking foot for the other thread, like if you're going to do quilting and stuff like that. You'd use this here primarily for uh, lightweight leather, like uh, for like... Um, Oh, the, the leather they use in handbags, the lightweight stuff, not the cowhide, not the tooling leather. And so what you do is you put that underneath here, and to raise the foot and, and to raise it to full height, you want to make sure that the needle is at its highest point. And then you can lift up the pressure foot and, and put your work underneath there. If you have the needle down too far, then you're not going to be able to lift this up properly. It's going to be too hard. So just turn the wheel till it gets up your hand wheel up to its highest point, and then you'll lift up the pressure foot to begin your sewing. And so we just put that underneath, and away we go. Now that was on the zigzag. Let's put it back here to straight. Which on the 325 model, which we're working on the title of the 325, uh, is E D Echo David on your pattern dial. Okay, if you want to swing it around or anything, just pick this up. You want to move it or stop. And you'll notice it does a very lovely stitch. See there on your two layers. And you can do it on the four layers. Uh, just like we did on a previous video showing with the multiple layers. Okay, now let's put it under here or the zigzag, so we move it into zigzag position, which on top of the machine is your center dial. So I'm going to pull it to full width of five. And then uh, we don't need a real long stitch, and we'll put it down to around three. And so then there's your, your zigzag. Okay, and you look underneath there. He's got a lovely stitch. Now in some cases we can take and let's do the triple stitch, which here would be K. Let's turn it to K and bring it down to around 2. We're getting a little wind in here. 
Where did the wind come from? <laughs> I think I hear is on. And that's what they call a triple stitch. And then you can get it down to a finer stitch or if you want a bigger. Bringing it up here, the wheel there. Oops. I guess we need some thread. That's that's called an invisible invisible thread. Alright, let's put this back in here. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's bring this here. Oh, before I forget, on this one here we do have the um, two hole spool pin on this here, which we want to make sure that you put that in and don't push it all the way down. Uh, this keeps your thread from bouncing around and coming loose from your your tensioner. And you just go through the top hole first from right to left and then bring it around to the second hole. Like so. Okay, and then you bring it around your your first guide here. Now being as we've only are using the, the multiple layers, there are a couple layers you don't need to go around it uh, just but one time. And you, but if you find that uh, it needs a little more tension and go around it again. The only way you're going to know this is that it depends on the fabric you're using uh, is, is the main thing because there's all different types of fabric, different types of vinyl, etc. Now we want to make sure that we pick that up and you lower your pressure foot. Lower the pressure foot down because of the mechanism here will hit the bottom of the, the top part of the walking foot. So just little things to remember and then trail your thread, pick up your bottom thread and, and away we go. Let's put it back through here and let's see if we got it right this time. Alright now that's a what they call a longer zigzag and let's take and um, Shorten that up. Okay. See, then we shorten it up there. See. So that's a triple, triple zigzag. Triple zigzag. All right. So we know that that works okay for the the one model uh, ten four four nine walking foot. So let's remove this foot. Okay. And remember you gotta sort of turn it to an angle and and then just get it off of that screw there and pull it back towards the back and you're fine. Now the other other model we have is uh, the even foot is called the R. W A two, and this one here is a little bit more simplified, but this has a Teflon uh, feed dogs. So you just take and, and do the same thing, but this has a little fork on it, and so that goes wraps around the needle clamp, and then of course you got the screw here. Now sometimes you don't have to take it off to do that, but might have to do it on this one here. Let's see if we can loosen it up enough to where we can work it through. Okay, there we go. Let me see where we're at here. I gotta look. Okay, I'm on top of it. If I was a little shorter, maybe I'd have... Okay, we just make sure it goes through like so. And we'll just take and wrap it around there. There we go. Okay. And if I had four arms and hands, I would be perfect. There we go. Okay. And now we got that one. Okay. And then we set it back to ED, back to straight stitch, and the normal stitch is around four or five. And there you go. And there's your stitch. Okay. Very, very nice stitch. Lovely stitch. Most people use just a straight stitch. 
but if you're using uh, uh, multiple layers and also we have the Teflon uh, straight stitch foot um, which we'll uh, address that at, at, at another point and then we got the zigzag move that over like so and there's the zigzag up now if you don't if you don't watch the trailer of your thread this is what's going to happen here so what you need to do is to take and make sure you've got enough trailing thread past the needle before you start sewing and I always I always do it typically uh, six seven inches of thread that way it won't do what it did there you know so you need to have it trailing back here give yourself enough area all right and just like this here if you could cut it but cut it out here and if you get in the habit of of taking and giving yourself that much room and bring your arm bring your the, the, the take up lever which is up here at the size point and then give yourself some room see there's another short piece and I didn't allow myself enough thread there there we go okay so there we are so that, that's our last uh, segment of the walking foot and which it did a very nice lovely job so anyway uh, that'll do it this segment here and and we'll talk to you all later and have a great day